So today's video is going to be a little different. I want to talk to you guys about um, a scam that's been going around on eBay and how you can avoid it. So if you've been following my channel recently, you know that I've been doing a lot of purchases and selling of computers on eBay for a series I'm doing about how to flip MacBooks for money. You can check out links to that series down below. Now, when I've been doing this, I've been scammed a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean literally seven times in, in the past couple of weeks that I've been doing this. It's really rather impressive, I have to say. Um, but what's interesting is each one of these scams is almost exactly the same. So I'm going to walk you guys through how this scam works so that you know what steps to look out for. So basically this happens on buy it now or best offer computers. Basically the way that it goes is you have your computer listed. Let's say I had one listed at $749.99 and I got an offer for $749.99 and then usually they have an excuse for that. It'll say uh, PayPal wouldn't let me buy it at the asking price so accept my offer and I'll pay you. Basically something like that. Now for a couple of these I have I've played along and I've gone through to see how far they go. So basically what happens next is you you accept the offer and then you send them an invoice. And usually about a day or so later, you'll get a notification, um, you'll get an email, um, a user information request. So basically the buyer will request your information. Um, so the email address that you have associated with eBay, as well as the phone number. And then after that happens, you will either get a text message and email or both um, asking for your PayPal email address so that you can complete payment. When I did this the first time, I, I've caught on pretty quickly and in subsequent times as I've repeated this experiment to see if it is the same scam, it has always been like this. Basically, um, you can send as many invoices as you want. You can, you can keep sending them until the cows come home. They're not going to use them. They want to get your PayPal email. Now the reason that they do that is because they're not actually going to pay you, obviously. Um, they just want your email because that way they can forge a PayPal receipt and then send it to you. So if you give them the PayPal email, about a day or so later, you will get an email saying, uh, you've been paid X amount, please ship to this address. And it'll say from like PayPal service at uh, paypal.com or something in the subject line. But if you actually look at the email, it'll be some obscure email that you know is actually not PayPal. Um, what will then happen is on eBay, you'll see the buyer will mark as payment sent. And if you fall for it, you think you've been paid. They'll tell you that it'll take a day to process the transaction. So you won't see your money in your account until you provide a tracking number and then you send it off and you have been bamboozled. So basically that's a run through of the scam. Uh, I didn't want to provide any pictures because all of this contains a lot of sensitive information um, about my eBay account or the other person's eBay account. So I don't want to put pictures up of that. And if I did, I'd have to redact so much that you wouldn't see anything anyway. So that's basically how the scam goes. So as soon as you like to avoid this, if you see someone giving you a best offer, that's your asking price and they have some sort of thing that that's an excuse for not paying through the the buy it now feature then just decline the offer just ignore it there's no need to go through the hassle of of sending it out if you do think it is real then absolutely 100 percent do not send anything out in the mail that truck is beeping very loudly until you see the money in your PayPal account. I cannot stress how important it is to make sure that the money is in your PayPal account because some of these guys have been very, very convincing. Um, they, they, they're very good at forging PayPal receipts. I've even gotten notifications from eBay um, a little while after I've canceled the sale that have given me contacts for law enforcement that I should get in contact with about this person. So. Oftentimes, these will be seemingly legitimate accounts with actual feedback. Usually, they're hacked accounts. So don't take that as proof that you are safe 
in this transaction. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. Um, if you've been a victim of this um, scam, I'm very sorry. I mean, there's not there's not much you can do at this point, except uh, hopefully you can get your money back through uh, eBay seller protection if it was recently enough. But make sure, make sure that you check and vet your buyers on eBay. That's all the advice that I can give you. So thank you guys for watching this video. I know it was a little bit unusual, kind of just a talking head video, but thank you guys for sticking around to the end. Make sure you are subscribed and hit the little notification button so you get my notifications when I post a new video. And I will see you guys in the next one.